my crafty friends, it's Jenny from Origami Tree and today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D Origami Nemo. Now this Nemo requires 341 sheets of paper but it is super duper well worth it. He is so cute, he is on an anemone and he has a teeny tiny right fin and a large left fin just like in the movie. But before we jump into the tutorial, be sure to leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see next and let's jump right in! To make the Origami Nemo, you're going to need 141 sheets of orange paper, 39 blacks, 28 whites, 68 pinks, and 65 purples, making a total of 341 sheets. And each one of these is 1 3 8th of an inch by 2 1 8th of an inch. Finally, you're going to need a glue gun to put everything together. To create Nemo's body, you're going to need two rows of 16 oranges each. Now if you don't know how to make these triangle units, you can click on the upper left hand corner for that video, or you can go on the video description to find out how to make one of these. For the third row, you're going to need two whites, followed by six oranges, two whites, and six more orange pieces. On the fourth row, you're going to need one white, one black, one white, five oranges, one white, one black, one white, and five oranges. On the fifth row, you'll need two whites, six oranges, two whites, and six oranges. For the 6th row, you're going to need 16 oranges. For the 7th row, you're going to need 16 blacks to start creating the stripes of the clownfish. For the 8th row, you'll need 16 whites. For the 9th row, you're going to need 16 oranges. For the 10th row, you're going to need 16 blacks. To create the back fin, you're going to start off with one row of 7 oranges, and for the second row, you're going to need 6 oranges. followed by five oranges in the third row. Then add four oranges to the fourth row. And finally, you're going to add five blacks to the fifth row.
Now Nemo's right fin is slightly smaller than Nemo's left fin, so for the right fin you're going to need 3 oranges in the first row, followed by 2 oranges in the second row, and then 1 orange in the first row. And now for Nemo's left fin, which is slightly larger, you're going to need 5 oranges in the first row, 4 oranges in the second row, Three oranges in the third row, two oranges in the fourth row, and one orange in the fifth row. And now to make the tentacles of the anemone that Nemo is going to go on top of, you're going to start off by stacking 18 pink units together. Then you're going to create two tentacles of 12 pinks each. And then after that, you're going to create one with 10 pinks. And finally, you're going to create the fifth tentacle with 16 pinks. To create the petal disc of the anemone, you're going to need five rows of 13 purples each. And now finally, it's time for the assembly of the Origami Nemo. And first, you're just going to take your glue gun and you're going to glue on the back tail to the back of Nemo's body. Next, you're going to glue on the left and right fins onto Nemo's body. Finally, we want to put the petal disc of the anemone down on a flat surface and then you're going to glue the tentacles upright with your glue gun. And next, you just want to lay Nemo carefully on top of the anemone, and after that, you are completely done. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button right over there. I post new videos all year round, and I don't want you to miss them. Also, be sure to check out this 3D minion. He likes to sit, like, right over there in my videos. So if you want to go learn that, be sure to check the video description. Also, leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!